Hey, this is David at the Sound Pure Recording Studios, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the A-Designs Hammer. Uh, we're going to be putting it through its paces through a couple different mixes uh, that have been done here at Sound Pure Recording Studios. Uh, so let's get to it. As you can see on the front panel, it's got a true bypass. So in and out to completely bypass the unit. You have a high cut that rolls off uh, 12 dB at 8K. Once again, simple engage and disengage. And a low cut at 84 hertz engage and unengage okay so here's our three bands obviously on each channel and essentially uh, a, a plus 12 or a minus 12 is what I have and detented frequencies of choices on each channels so the A-Designs hammer is a hybrid design essentially consisting of a tube and um, a solid state stage uh, really the best of both worlds um, you know, the tube adds the smooth uh, warmth um, and an overall, you know, nice transparency. So let's put it across the two bus and see what it can do. Here I have pretty much a mix that was done here at SoundPure Recording Studios uh, by a great musician named Adrian Duke. And essentially this is kind of a funk jazz band and it's a full mix consisting of drums, bass, and a little bit of electric keys. First let's take a listen to the raw mix. Overall, this mix sounds pretty good. Um, you know, it, once again, it's a dry, rough mix, no plugins, no processing yet. But just to demonstrate how the A Designs Hammer is going to enhance a certain sound on an overall mix, or the two bus as we call it, uh, let's put it through its paces. Really, hearing this mix, um, you know, I, I would add a little more chunkiness to it. Overall, I would add a little bit of air to it, uh, maybe scoop out the mid range some. Um, so let's see what we can do for it. So I just made some adjustments on the EQ, as you can see in here. I added a little bit of 200, and sometimes this can be a little bit dangerous because you can actually add a lot of muddiness if you uh, have too much of a boost. Uh, but this particular song, it's, it's funky, there's a lot of bass, uh, keys, uh, kick and snare are pretty predominant, so uh, I wanted to add a little more uh, thickness or thud to it. Uh, so boosting around 200 hertz, uh, about, you know, about 3 dB or so. I cut some of the mid-range out at 1.2, about 4 dB. And, uh, you know, kind of added a little more uh, sizzleness uh, to the cymbals, to the hi-hats you can hear now, uh, boosting about 4 dB at 10K. <laughs> Now let's listen to a song by a band called The Neurotics that has zero processing on the two bus, no EQ, and obviously no compression. So this mix sounds pretty good, but um, you know, after hearing it, uh, really, um, I definitely would like to uh, bring the air out some on the song. Uh, definitely take out some of the mid range. Uh, it's a little bit muddy to me, um, and you know, but at the same time, I, I definitely would like to fatten up uh, some stuff, especially on his vocals and when the drums come in as well. 
um, and, and I can do all this with a hammer. It's a, it's a perfect broad stroke EQ to just kind of add that extra um, you know, tone I really need. As you can see here, uh, I, I came in and um, it really added a, a little bit of uh, 300 hertz. I wanted to, once again, when his voice comes in, when that, that kick drum comes in, I really wanted to emphasize that. Um, so, you know, we added a little bit of 300, uh, about 4 dB. Um, as you can tell, I came in and cut it right around 800. Uh, this is a good range to come in and really kind of cut out some if you want to flatten the mix out some, uh, take away maybe some of that muddiness in the mid-range. It's a, it's a perfect area to do that. So right around 800 hertz, I did about 4 uh, dB or so. And then, you know, the, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of extra air always on top of your mix. Uh, 15K is nice. It's always lovely. Um, it's, it, it, and on this box, it's very smooth. It, it doesn't come across uh, harsh in any way. Um, it kind of just uh, gives a whole new breath, uh, life to the music itself. So about 4 dB. And, and, and generally with EQ, you know, it doesn't take much. With this EQ, I mean, you can really boost and cut and turn these knobs really well. Uh, and, um, and, and, and overall, it handles it very, very well. There's definitely no right or wrong way to uh, EQ any particular track, uh, especially on the two bus uh, like you just saw. Um, really this box is an overall tonal box to give you, uh, you know, a lot of different characteristics to your music. So, um, you know, you could have easily done something different in here, but ultimately it's about just achieving the sound you hear in your head. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call here at SoundPure. We definitely love to talk to you more about the A-Designs Hammer and the other A-Designs products.